A very good evening. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. And first up, it was a lucky escape for a family in Shimoga. The car that they were traveling in fell into a lake. However, with the help of residents around the area, they managed to climb to safety. And as you can see, there, uh, uh, the car in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We understand that it fell into that particular lake, but everyone present inside the car has been rescued. Nobody uh, has, in fact, uh, faced any sort of fatal injuries due to this incident. A very, very fortunate family there, uh, as, in fact, they were driving this car when it fell off and fell into that lake. As you can see there in the mobile footage, uh, the family uh, being rescued with absolutely no problems. All of them did manage to walk out safely. So no doubt they will be thanking their stars as locals came to their rescue. It is understood that the locals came together and pulled out uh, every person inside the car and managed to get them to safety. And none of them have suffered any sort of injuries is what we understand. My colleague uh, Nishita joins us over the phone line with more details. Uh, Nishita, any word on exactly how this accident took place? How did the car end up in that particular lake? Well, we understand that uh, this car, it is a Scorpio car, Akshita. It was being driven by uh, one Malesh Nayak, who is a JDS leader. He was traveling along with his family members from Bengaluru to Shimoga. Now, what happened in Enarpura is that uh, uh, the Scorpio, which was traveling at a fairly high speed, considering that it's a long-distance journey, was encountered by a bike that came right in front. To avoid the bike, uh, the driver swerved the vehicle, and the vehicle uh, and he lost control of uh, the Scorpio, and it plunged into uh, this lake. Now, this is the Purle Lake uh, that is located in Shimoga's Enarpura. Fortunately, Akshita, though there were seven people present inside the car during the time of the accident, none of the seven persons have been injured, no, not a minor injury also that they have uh, sustained. The seven persons also include a two-month-old child and a five-year-old baby. Uh, we understand that uh, both of them are absolutely safe now. The child is also absolutely safe. The family members are fine. And as you rightly mentioned, the locals came in uh, to help them. And fortunately, since uh, uh, the rains have been fairly scarce uh, this year, uh, the water level was extremely low, so we can clearly see how uh, the Scorpio is not exactly sinking or hasn't sunk into uh, the water. And it's a marshy land. Uh, the, there was a lot of uh, vegetation uh, on this uh, lake bed. So uh, it was a lucky, lucky escape for the seven people who were traveling in this car. Uh, the Shimoga Rural Police have registered a complaint in this regard, and they are looking into the matter to find out what exactly happened and uh, whether the driver needs to be blamed. But uh, it is uh, one of those accidents that are quite... Uh, uh, are, are quite often seen or are quite often reported, especially in long-distance journeys, Akshita. And one such incident taking place in Enarpura, which is a rural area, and uh, it is said that uh, the JDS leader suddenly encountered the biker right in front of him, and to avoid him, uh, the car plunged into the lake. Fortunately, uh, as they say, all's well that ends well, and uh, this particular accident ended uh, well, uh, and in fact ended great, as even a two-month-old child that was inside the car is absolutely safe. No injuries are reported, and even a five-year-old uh, uh, kid who was traveling in this uh, uh, car is absolutely fine, Akshita. Right, uh, uh, Nishita, as you mentioned, of course, a very, very lucky escape, uh, a narrow one as well. Any word on exactly how the locals managed to pull out all the family members, considering the baby was also out there. Uh, the car was partly submerged into that particular lake. The locals still managed to get through to them. So any word on how they managed to pull them all out? Well, uh, as we can see on the television screen, Sakshita, though the car is uh, uh, partially submerged, uh, 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 its doors were uh, uh, pretty free, at least on one side, the doors could be easily opened. And considering that all the occupants of the car were not injured, so all of them were in a condition to get out of the car uh, with a little bit of a help. There was no requirement to pull them out or to lift them from there. They were all absolutely fine, and that's the reason why they could easily open the door and get out with the little bit of help from the locals. It had tilted a little, it had submerged a little into the uh, water, but one portion of uh, the car was open uh, for uh, the, the occupants to just uh, make an easy escape. So basically luck playing a huge role here, uh, Akshita. Uh, a car, imagine falling off a bridge and falling into a lake. More often than not, we, have, we would have seen casualties or injuries, to say the very least. But here, seven people inside the car, including two children, have escaped uh, unscathed, Akshita. 
Right, uh, Anishita, thank you so much for joining us with all those details, but uh, definitely uh, they're all the family members will be thanking their stars at this point, considering that they all managed to escape completely, uh, not harming uh, themselves. Even babies were present in that particular car, but they were all pulled out to safety thanks to the locals present there and their present-mindedness. Well, we understand uh, that uh, none of the family members suffered uh, even the slightest of uh, injuries. So it is very, very fortunate that they did manage to escape there. It's not very often uh, that you see uh, something like this taking place. And it was absolute chaos in the assembly as BJP cornered the government over excise department's DC Manjanath once again. Jagdish Shetar accused the government of protecting the tainted TC as he was a relative of Satish Jhaki Holi. well, earlier, Jaki Holi had written a letter to Chief Minister Sidramaya seeking a change in portfolio for Manjanath. In the letter, Jaki Holi had requested Manjanath be shifted to the Social Welfare Department, and that is what has led to everyone coming out and lambasting Satish Jaki Holi, stating that he is favoring Manjanath, considering that why Manjanath is his relative. Remember, uh, to take you through exactly what are the allegations against uh, uh, Manjanath, the Loka Yukta in 2012 had raided the office uh, of Manjanath, who was, of course, the Deputy Commissioner of Excise, and seized 2.46 lakh rupees of unaccounted cash, as well as documents. Uh, this was based on complaints of corruption against Manjanath that the raid was conducted. The team in all recovered 1.55 lakh rupees in cash and 20 liquor bottles from uh, his office soon after they arrested uh, the DC uh, of uh, the excise department and currently the cases against Manjanath are still pending in a court so of course uh, besides uh, his current role he has been also given an extra charge but Satyar Jorge Holi has called for him to be moved to another department and well, Child and Welfare Minister Umashri has shot a letter demanding action against the principal of a college for ragging students. Meanwhile, new details have emerged on the hostel horror. It is being alleged that the security guard had been blackmailing the principal. <laughs> Well, this was uh, the letter that Umashri issued uh, stating that very strict action needs to be taken against uh, the security guard, the warden, as well as uh, the principal in this particular case. Uh, a letter has been uh, sent to Anjanaya with regards to the same where she has gone ahead and expressed uh, her shock over this particular incident. Meanwhile, a lot of developments coming in as it is understood that the security guard had also been blackmailing the principal Malikarjun Swami, possibly along the front of uh, busting him and uh, his habits of drinking, consuming alcohol, as well as clicking pictures of the girls uh, from their hostel. To once again take you through exactly what has uh, uh, Malikarjun Swami been accused of, uh, first of all, he's been accused of harassing students. This is at the Kitturani Chennamma hostel where the principal has turned the hostel into a bar. Every night, Malikarjun Swami is, uh, allegedly consumed alcohol and shockingly, it's not him alone. He drinks along with the security guard as well as the warden of the hostel. They then went on to harass the boys as well as the girls of this particular hostel.
residents of a house were thrown out by recovery officials of a cooperative bank. The incident came to light from Lagiri's Premanagar area. A person, Rajan, had borrowed a sum of 13 lakh rupees from Anjaneya Cooperative Bank but defaulted on repayment. The bank approached the recovery officials who issued orders for eviction on March 29th of this year. Today, three persons living in Rajan's house were rendered homeless after the eviction notice was enforced. The three persons had taken Rajan's house on lease after paying a sum of 2.25 lakh rupees. Well, unfortunately, the tenants being made to pay for the mistake of the house owner. It is understood that Rajan had a, a sort of about 3 lakh rupees uh, from uh, Anjaneya Cooperative Bank. Now, soon after, it is understood that he refused, uh, he couldn't pay the payment, in fact, and that's what led to the seizure of this particular home. We understand that he had borrowed a sum of 13 lakh rupees, not 3 lakhs, and uh, it is along that front, considering that he couldn't repay that particular amount that uh, the Cooperative Bank uh, uh, some under recovery officials and uh, after repeated warnings and notices to Rajan today they went ahead and evicted the members it was three members living there uh, they had in fact uh, uh, bought the house on rent from Rajan so they have were made to pay the uh, ultimate price for Rajan's mistake and are completely left homeless now <laughs> And well, BBMP is celebrating Kempe Gowda Jayanti today. City Mayor Kati Sathya Narayana as well as BBMP Commissioner Lakshmi Narayana paid tribute to the statue of Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda. The BBMP is celebrating the event as it could not do so in April because the election code of conduct was in place. But the BBMP celebration of Kempe Gowda Jayanti has come under the scanner. Not because they're celebrating the event late, but because the cash-strapped civic body is pledging a massive bond crore rupees on the celebrations. The BBMP had called tenders for 20 kg silver plates. It has also spent 12 lakh rupees on mementos depicting Kempe Gowda riding a horse and 3.5 lakh rupees worth of garlands and bouquets. Each silver plate weighs 200 grams with an embedded logo of BBMP and other details. The BBMP is spending over 25 lakh rupees for felicitation articles alone. This time, 134 achievers will get the Kempe Gowda Awards. Well, uh, the BBMP celebrated Kempe Gowda Jayanti in a grand manner, even as, of course, they've organized pujas, they've organized ceremonies. A lot of people questioning where is all this money coming from? Almost uh, uh, a huge amount of crores being spent for this particular event. And uh, at a time when uh, they are completely bankrupt, they're spending one crore rupees on the celebration of Kempe Gowda Jayanti. We understand that uh, they have splurged on mementos, on uh, garlands, bouquets, as well as silver plates, as well as several other such uh, uh, mementos and gifts to be given to 134 achievers. Well, uh, it is uh, understood that even after celebrating uh, Kempe Gowda Day on their own, remember the BBMP had a cricket match as well where they celebrated uh, Kempe Gowda Day amongst themselves. Now they've spent one crore rupees simply on going ahead and ensuring that it's grand celebrations across the city. As you can see, huge boards put up, a lot of decorations in place to celebrate the big day.